Hey y'all, welcome back again. I just want to say thank you for Aaron being in this part two. Uh, you can check out part one where we talk about your life as an RA, which is really cool. Thank you. Um, what was it like being here during COVID? Ooh, fun. <laughs> a lot of freshmen here fun. would have not experienced that or even sophomores yeah. really. No, yeah, wow. Um, the freshmen here have had the most normal experience, which I'm, I'm, jealous of them in ways and i'm also not jealous of them in ways i think um coming in on covid year taught us to um prioritize and in one sense prioritize um like relationships to really just be be present with people and make sure that um like our our attention is we, we we got really good at showing people that their time, their attention is valued and that we want to, if we're there, we want to be there with them. Because there were so many reasons and hold hold this lightly, but some excuses to like not be around people if you didn't want to, you had that flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, where it's it just with the fewer restrictions, like it's a little more open now. Um, I think the year in general, I came in at an interesting time where I was just, I, I needed a little bit of like a, a step back from social things. So I don't feel that I was critically impacted, like on a social, like a, like a hangout social front kind of idea. One thing I will say is I noticed that towards the end of, um, like most of the hype of COVID or anything and towards a more normal college year when masks started coming off and we were getting, um, you know, another another 50% of like facial input that we didn't have. I started to get like really nervous about interacting with people because there was all this new information that I hadn't even thought like, oh, I've been missing this for two years. Yeah, We got so used to like learning what we learn about people and interacting and compensating through like, eye movements and brow raises and all this other body language that there's so much so much input when you can see someone's mouth that when it all came back it was like whoa what do we do with that mm. um so it was yeah whole it, it mixed bag of things experienced yeah. there i know for me it was tough with math because everyone looked the same yeah and without them everyone looks so much different Mm -hmm. So it was just interesting from like my perspective because I'm more I'm a, I'm a social person, sure. so like COVID was really tough. Yeah, and at least it's back to more normal now. So like you said, the freshmen here haven't experienced it. They probably experienced it in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which that was that's maybe even more impactful. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. What do you think of uh, President Hammond here? I really enjoy him. Um, I think the the biggest thing is like he has shown us time and time again like that he is a person too and that he cares we are people too. Um, I mean he he's made jokes like about his own Instagram. I think it's hilarious, um, but it just shows like that he's involved that he knows he's knowledgeable about the students he's leading with he's serving with. Um, we had like a, a paint and sip event at fair in the other weekend mocktails um non-alcoholic <laughs> and he reposted it on instagram and we lost our minds over it we were like wait he knows we exist and it's like yeah he knows we exist yeah he cares about the people he's working with um so i'm i'm a big fan i i haven't interacted with him personally like an extensive amount of times um but like largely positive thoughts Right. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. I love how he comes to events, too. Mm -hmm. And he's just, he's... He's he, really funny. <laughs> he, he's hilarious. And he's so, like, vivacious and just curious about life. Um, where it, it, it lends well to him being an extrovert and getting involved with stuff. It's like, he wants to learn. He wants to learn from the students he's around yeah. and participate and share stories. It's and he's boring. a great teacher because he's teaching a class this year. Yeah. And I'm not in it, but I've... I've people love it. Good. That class. Good. Yeah. Um, what do you think of Lane food? What do I think of Lane food? Um, I don't know. I'm not in Lane a whole lot, to be honest. I've done more cooking in, in Farron this year. Um... 
I'm a huge bistro fan, so I'll like grab stuff here and then sometimes Gilly's late night is convenient. But when I go when I when I do go to Lane, um the the pizza like never misses. There's always a, a good pizza. Yeah. Just one good pizza. Um, especially if Jonathan Beckus or Amon Esh2 are doing the pizza, my boys. Um, I like. I'm just. I'm not in there enough. I think that I really enjoyed how they try to implement more like cultural foods or um, as close as they can get it to cultural foods. Um, and yeah, when they do the when they do the chicken wings, the lemon pepper chicken wings hit. They're good. They really are good. So <laughs> that's that's my thoughts. Why should people come to Gordon? In your opinion, why should people come to Gordon? Yeah, um, I think Gordon does a really good job about dignifying the people that are here um, and modeled from like Hammond to professors to RAs to classmates. It's you're a person. I care about the fact you're a person, um, and even if I'm not, you know, like we don't hang out a whole bunch, even what interactions I do have with you, I'm going to show you that I care about you, that your time is worth other people's time, that you are worth like hearing from and interacting with. Um, it's also just a with with the smaller size where students can like know their professors and actually build a relationship there. Um, so many opportunities to like explore to to safely explore risky vocational moves. I think um, for one, like the me as an example, the pipe major that I'm doing. If Dr. Bob were not like completely behind me in this, um, it wouldn't have happened. Like I'd have. I'd have stuck with just a psych major, I'd probably be graduated by now, um, but it wouldn't be what I ultimately wanted to do. Um, so I just, I feel blessed in so many ways that I have been able to do that. And I think new students have really, I, I guess the privilege of coming to a college where they can expect to experience similar things. I don't think you'll, you'll get that at many institutions. Nice. Yeah. Where is your favorite place, like on a North Shore, would you say? Oh, um, right now it's Cherry Farm Creamery. Oh. Because um, the ice cream is just bomb. Um, I like food. <laughs> um, I think another spot, oh, where, where do I go when I'm off campus? I'm in Beverly a lot. Atomic Coffee, Coffee House is so good. Um, if I'm off campus, I'm usually at a coffee shop. I think for more, like, scenic, like, fun, where do I go if I just want to do stuff, um, downtown Beverly and any sort of, like, bookstore. Um, I grew up, I have cousins in southern Jersey, and a lot of the architecture here is reminiscent of that. Um, so I quite enjoy it, and, um, yeah, get out when I can. Nice. What you talked about food? What is your favorite type of food and why? Um, sushi, hands down, because it is there's so much variety. Seafood is just so good, um, and the I think it's it's a really fun like I I love cultural foods. Um, again, for like so many stories come with it, but my dad um loves my dad loves spicy food and i come from like a military family so he was stationed in um korea and has spent time in um japan at least i know too but um he's he's told me funny funny stories of him trying to use chopsticks and then he has a really <laughs> high like heat tolerance so i love wasabi um so that, like there's a family aspect and then sushi is just great it tastes so good so that's, yeah, sushi. <laughs> nice. Sushi, I love how fresh it is myself. Yes. It can be fresh, it can be not sometimes. Mm -hmm. Where's your favorite sushi place in this area? If you... So shamefully, I have not been to a sushi place in this area. Um, but it would, any sort of one where you can get, no, wait, no, I have. Um, Lo well, this is more Poke Bowls, but Lolo Poke in, I think that's Beverly. Beverly. It is Beverly. Okay. They're pretty good. I love their Poke Bowls. 
Um, I haven't been to like a proper restaurant for sushi here yet. There's so many good ones around this area. I know. I need to. We're. I'm gonna do a sushi night with my guys here like next weekend to wrap up the year. So. Uh, oh, you guys on your floor? Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I just want to thank you for doing this with me today. Absolutely. Yeah, and I hope you'll let us say thanks. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye.